So Donna, before you had your ergonomics assessment, what was your situation like? Um, I was experiencing quite a bit of pain in my right, no, that's my left, my left shoulder. Um, it was strained and it was quite painful, inflamed. I couldn't turn my neck, raise my arm. I was having a lot of issues while I was trying to work at my desk. My keyboard used to be higher up along with my mouse and uh, I was in quite a bit of pain and I ended up going to a chiropractor for a couple months and I had been adjusted and stretched and pulled and massaged and it really helped. But what really helped is when here at work, I had a tray put in right here and everything was brought down I got one of these desks recently, a stand-up desk, and um, the pain is minimal now. I don't have any issues whatsoever. It's wonderful. Hey, Jill, you ready for your ergonomic office work assessment today? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Um, before we get started, I just want to go over the approach. Um, what we're going to be and what ergonomics is. Ergonomics really is about um, an applied science. So it's it's taking uh, things like your equipment and people, yourself, and making sure that they interact um, efficiently and safely. And so today we're going to try to optimize your setup so that um, hopefully you have good form, good function, and good health. So Jill, we're going to start by working with this um, workstation checklist mm -hmm. and the very first thing we're going to look at is is your head. As okay. you can see what you we're trying to accomplish here is to get your line of sight to be even with the top of the monitor. Mm -hmm. This monitor you're just a, a little bit is just a little bit lower than the top of your line of sight. So we could we could raise this one and obviously this one's on the table so this will also need a stand. What I'm thinking since your table doesn't adjust and your chair seat is, is about the right height, we're, we're better off um, putting in new, new stands for the, your monitors. So Jill, here's your new stands mm -hmm. and we're probably going to need to adjust your monitor, but I do like the way that this one comes right to the top of your eye line. So it's about the right height. Two different monitors, one slightly a little little taller than that one. But um, what we want to do next is make sure that your keyboard and your monitors are directly in front of you. Okay, so um, basically, what we do here and, and to curve them a little bit is actually good. A lot of monitors now you see that they're they're built with a curvature in them. Mm -hmm. um, people without glasses. Um, a curved effect is good. People with glasses sometimes tend to like them a little straighter. So tip number three is to assure that you have no glare on your screen. Um, the natural light would be the issue here, but as you can see, the, the louvers on the blinds are in the direction not to allow any light in. So Jill, the next tip that we're going to be looking at is to make sure that documents are in line with the keyboard and the monitor. Mm -hmm. So when you type now, where do you normally put your like timesheet if you're going to enter it or say that notebook if you're yep. going to do an entry? How would, how uh, would I probably keep it off to the side, maybe as close as I could get it so I can just peek down at it. Okay. Yeah, that's how most people do it. Mm -hmm. And that certainly can work. But I think we can optimize something here a little bit more so you have less head turns. Why don't we try using this document holder? So we're going to want to put it in between your keyboard in your monitor stands. Angle like that shouldn't really come into play with your monitors. So Jill, the next thing we're going to do is look at your keyboard. And ideally you want your keyboard either flat or with slightly negative tilt. Mm -hmm. um, this one does have the option for negative tilt. These, these little feet here. and. Um, 
you know, show me how you'd how you'd be doing your typing now. Okay. Like a little bit better tilted. Yeah, I like it better tilted. Okay. Good. The next thing we want to look at is I see an issue here with um, this this edge, the leading edge of the table here is not protected. So it's going to cause something that they call contact stress when you're pressing up against um, a hard edge for a long period of time. And um, that's not a good situation. Okay. So what we're going to want to do there is put a pad in place. Probably move your keyboard a little bit forward. And uh, you know, why don't we go with that? Try that. Mm -hmm. That's much better. Yeah. And it keeps your wrist more flat. Mm -hmm. And the angle's actually better addressing the keyboard. Jill, this area looks great by the keyboard. Next, we're going to focus on your mouse. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And as long as you keep your mouse close to your keyboard, that's optimal. And, but in this case, we also have another contact stress possibility. And um, you're going to be better off with the mouse pad. Okay. One with the leading edge padded to keep your wrist straight, a little bit flexed. Mm -hmm. So Jill, we're going to end up doing the arms now, the height of the arms. Okay. So um, why don't we take a look at the height? Um, you're pretty much going to want to make it even with the top here. It's, it's a little bit lower by about uh, two inches. So why don't you try raising up that armrest all the way. There you go. Do the same on this side. Okay, Jill, why don't you put your arm on the armrest? Yep. You can see that your arm is is a little bit greater than 90 degrees, so 90 degrees or greater is good. Jill, the next tip is really about changing your posture often. Um, what we're talking about here is being able to maybe do a little bit of hand exercises, uh, maybe with your shoulder, pull your elbow in, um, you can even rock a tiny bit in a chair, or you can move your feet under your desk a little bit. Um, those are all things that will help you to change your posture a little bit frequently. Okay. Jill, the next tip is about getting firm back support out of your chair okay. and making sure your the curve of your back um, comes into the curve of the chair. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't you have a seat with that. Um, so yeah, the lumbar area fits firmly. If anything, when you're sitting, just the very bottom of your shoulder blades might want to hit the back of the chair with your arms up. So Jill, we're going to focus on chair posture next. And if you see in this picture, um, just kind of like the elbows, 90 degrees or slightly more is what we're looking for with the feet flat on the floor or on a footrest. Okay? okay. One of the key things too, and if we look at the way you're sitting, is to have that space in between the back of your knee and the edge of the chair. That's actually good um, because for a number of reasons, you don't have the contact stress issue. and. Um, it also shows that your, your feet are at a little better angle than 90 degrees. Jill, the next thing we're looking at is the organization of your workstation mm -hmm. and some of the other items outside of your monitor and your keyboard. Um, it's, it's great to have them within reach, so um, especially the things you use the most. So why don't you reach out to your water bottle? Great. Why don't you reach out for your phone for me? Yeah, that's good. So Jill, now that we completed the assessment, the last thing is to sign off. Um, do you have any questions? No. Okay. No, thanks for your help. You're welcome. So the last tip of the ergonomic workstation assessment is to take frequent breaks. And what we try and do with that is get ourselves out of our arrangement and get our blood circulating and get a little bit more flow. So taking a, a quick brisk walk, um, doing some exercises or some stretches, is usually the best thing to do in this particular tip. So Donna's workstation is a sit-stand arrangement by lifting this table and getting it at the right height of her eyes at the top of her monitor, right about there, and locked back in place. And uh, Donna has an arrangement that she can stand at and, and work right at her keyboard. So when Donna's workstation is in the sitting arrangement, you can see she's got a footrest. And what that footrest does kind of angles her feet up so that it puts her um, weight a little bit further back, keeps her head in a neutral position, keeps her shoulders from, from rounding over the keyboard. So if you notice here, Donna, what I like about your, your outrigger tray here is that it allows you to have your chair armrests all the way down so that it's at the equal height. Whereas uh, Jill Abbey's workstation 
she was working with the top of her desk height and she had to have her armrests all the way up. Same chair, but hers were all the way up and that would be much too high for your oh, arrangement. Yes. And this, same height as your, as your tray, which is what you want. So you've seen what we can do with the office ergonomic work assessments. And there's a lot more that we can do for you in terms of uh, ergonomics and other solutions. So follow us on the links below and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Hey everybody, thanks for checking us out. Remember to like, subscribe, look at the links below. It doesn't take too much to do it. Glad to see you join us for looking at what our services are, what we provide. Got a lot more coming the way. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Stay tuned.